Our classes are essentially structured so that the uh, students, when they first come to college in that freshman year, they're taking um, their English and their um, general studies classes, but they're also taking some pretty heavy duty science classes with biology and chemistry and microbiology. Um, they need to demonstrate that they can do those sciences and they need to learn that knowledge and do well with that knowledge so that they can do well in the second year of the program. Uh, once they get into the second year, the clinical year of the program, it really is almost all hands-on. I mean, they are taking anatomy, they're taking radiology where they're actually, you know, taking radiographs of animals. Um, they're practicing drawing blood, putting in catheters, giving vaccinations. Um, they will put animals under anesthesia um, in our anesthetic classes so that they can be spayed or neutered. So our students are really fully participating in all of those events and those are things that they'll be using on a daily basis when they, when they graduate from our program and work in a, a veterinary hospital. So uh, for veterinary technicians to be licensed in the state of Ohio, they need to graduate from an AVMA accredited program, which we have here, um, and they also need to pass a national licensing exam. It's called the VTNE. Um, our students can take it three times a year. Uh, most of our students take it immediately after graduation, or within a couple of months after graduation. And um, national averages on that particular exam tend to be in the 60 to 70 percentile, and our students are consistently performing above that level. Um, generally speaking, I mean, it changes a little bit year to year, but we're generally in the upper 80s to lower 90th, um, 90 percent on the test. And we've had some years where we're close to 100 percent, which is just wonderful.